Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and I think I'm going to have to start with clarifying what I meant on this question because, oh my goodness, did I get a lot of feedback on Facebook about it being confusing. So let's take, it lo take a look. It said, would each of the following be best represented using a positive or a negative number? All I want from you is to read each one of these scenarios here and decide if this thing would best be represented using a positive number, like positive seven or just seven, or a negative number, like negative seven. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, the first one already, like, you guys, I think I'm such a clear communicator until I start getting feedback on Facebook and then I'm like, maybe I didn't write what I thought that I meant to write. Because let's take a look at A, people were arguing. It says a $15 fee, a $15 fee. Now I just thought, oh, it's a fee. It's going to be negative. It's going to be taken away. But some people were thinking of like the effect of a $15 fee on your bill. So then your bill would increase, in which case it would be positive. So let me just clarify here. Like I meant a $15 fee on your bank account. That would make your bank account go down by $15. Now, good news. Even though I'm not always clear, your GED should be <laughs> pretty clear. It's vetted. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's look at B. A 50-yard gain. We use the terms yard losses and yard gains in football. So 50-yard gain, we're gaining 50 yards. I would say that's a plus 50, a positive 50, or just 50. Same difference. Okay, descending 100 feet, descending 100 feet. That'd be a negative 100. If you owe a 2044, it's like you're 2044 in debt, I'd probably represent that using a negative number as well. Now, if you deposit 1744, let's think about, again, the effects on your bank account, you are gonna go up 1744, and so that would be a positive 1744, or just plain old 1744, same thing. Okay, and if the stark stock market loses 500 points, the stock market is losing 500 points, I would call that a negative 500 or going down 500. Great. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.